Hey guys, it's Wilson, and I want to show you three tips for using the bandsaw. First thing I'm going to show you is how to set the guide height very quickly and very accurately. Next, I'm going to teach you how to cut tight curves on a bandsaw, almost as tight as you can with a scroll saw. And then finally, we're going to talk about cutting tight, sharp, 90 degree angles. All right. Um, make sure you adjust the sound properly on your headphones. It will get a little loud once I start running this. But let's talk about first setting the height. When you're done with the tool, I want you to drop the guide all the way down when you leave so it forces the next person to set the guide to a safe height. We know that having the guide way up here when your hand can get in and touch the blade is probably not safe. So what I do, instead of trying to bring this up and eyeball it and see if I get it close, that takes a lot of time, what I do is I pick it up, put the wood on the side, drop it. Lift the wood at an angle. You see how if I lift up here by an inch, it goes up here just a tiny bit, and then I lock the guide, and it stays at that height. So, put the wood in, drop it, tilt it, and tighten it. And now, that's a teeny tiny gap. It's like a sixteenth of an inch. The wood moves freely. My fingers can't get into, oh, didn't tighten it quite enough. There we go. Um, fingers can't get in there. Nice smooth movement, I'm ready to cut. So that is how I quickly set the guide height. Next, let's talk about tightening, cutting a tight curve. First thing I have to consider, do I want the blade on the inside of that black line or the outside of the black line? Remember that this tool is going to leave a gap where it cuts. It's going to remove material. I'm going to choose to have my blade stay on the inside of the black line. That's because of how I drew the line. You guys need to decide if your measurement is accurate from the inside to the inside or the outside to the outside. So what I'm going to do to cut this tight curve, the blade is probably going to bind if I cut that tight. I'll show you what that looks like. If I try to cut a curve like this, you're going to see that when I get into the tight part of the curve, I start twisting the blade. You see how the blade's moving? I'm going to have sparks, and no matter how hard I try, I didn't make the curve. So the bandsaw can only cut about that tight of a curve. This one here is actually a little bit tighter than that. So I'm going to cut straight lines over and over again called relief cuts. Let me show you what those look like. Notice I'm cutting to the inside of the black line and not all the way to the outside of the black line. I do that by slowing down when I cut so that I know I stop exactly where I want to. All right. See through cuts there? Now, when I cut along this curve, you're gonna see these little pieces of wood pop out and I won't find the blade. See how they're popping off one by one? I'll start from the other side now. There we go. Now it might need a little bit of sanding in there. 
but you'll see that I kept my line, followed on the inside, and was able to make a tighter curve than the bandsaw could on its own. Let me show you how to do 90 degree angles. In order to do these, I need my blade to go down this direction, and I need to cut those directions. So let me show you what I do so I can get the blade in there and cut this way to the corner. First I cut my two sides and I stay on the inside of the black line. You might choose to be on the outside but that's going to affect your measurement. you want it to. So I cut the two sides, I stopped right at those corners, and now I need to make a spot where I can get the blade inside. So I'm going to cut at an angle. Slide the blade in sideways. Getting close. Now I'm going to make a bunch of little back and forth cuts to clean off this side of the triangle. Now I can fit the blade in sideways. See how nice and the sharp corner there is? And I'm just going to go cut this way, this arrow, to clean up that other side. There we go. Hope you guys were able to hear me okay, but that is how you set the guide height quickly and accurately, cut tight curves using relief cuts, and then how to do a 90 degree angle by clearing out the wood first. Have fun guys.